welcome to my channel good day everybody we are asked to find the value of t for which 64 over 27 is equal to 3 over 4 raised to the power of t minus 1 okay let's go ahead and get the solution okay now looking at this question it looks somehow tactical but it's very easy let's do that solution okay let me do it this side. We have 64 all over 27 is equal to what? 3 over 4 raised to the power of t minus 1. Now, first of all, I want to do something that I want this side to look like this. So, an idea came to my mind. What is what can we do? What is raised to the power of 4 to give us 64 or raised to the power of 3 to give us 64? You can say that 4 raised to the power of 3 is 64. Let's check. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4. Let's see. 4 times 6 is 24, right? 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6. So you see that 4 raised to the power of 3 will give us what 64. So we keep this one aside. 4 raised to the power of 3. Then for 27, 3 raised to the power of 3 is 27, right? 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is what? 27. So 27 is something as 3 raised to the power of 3. So I'm going to replace this 64 now with what? 4 raised to the power of 3. So I'm going to write 4 raised to the power of 3 all over. 27 is what? 3 raised to the power of 3 is equal to what? In brackets. 3 raised to the power of 4, 3 over 4 raised to the power of t minus 1. Now, let's go ahead and solve this. Okay, but when I look at this, we can now write that 4 over 3 raised to the power of 3, because this is 3 and this is 3, right? Is equal to 3 over 4 raised to the power of t minus 1. Looking at this, I want them to look alike. And how do we do that? 4 over 3 raised to the power of 3 can be written as, if I should invert it, that is, if I should write 3 over 4, it will now become raised to the power of minus 3. is equal to 3 over 4 raised to the power of t minus 1. All right, you can see that I have actually, I'm able to establish the same thing here and here. So we can say that if this is equal to this, then their powers are also what? Equal. Okay, let's go ahead and get the solution. Now, looking at this, if this and this are equal, that means minus 3 is equal to t minus 1. Okay, so we can write that minus 3 is equal to t minus 1. Now, we can write that. How do we get our t? For t to be alone, this minus 1 is going to live here and cross the equation sign to come and meet what? minus 3 and if it does that this minus sign will change to positive so you are going to have that minus 3 plus 1 is equal to t now minus 3 plus 1 is something as 1 minus 3 which will give you what minus 2 so you have that minus 2 is equal to what t that is your final answer do have a lovely day and bye